Let's talk about beer. and today we are doing something a little fun, a little different. We are using a very intriguing product on my hair, and it's not a hair product, it's beer! <laughs> so I have been known to once or twice on this channel use something from the kitchen on my hair. Flax seeds, rice, apple cider vinegar, oil, so, why not try some beer? And while this is really, really fun and different to do, there are some actual really good benefits to using beer rinses on your hair on occasion. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the Sciency Hair blog post on beer rinses where I found all this amazing information on beer rinses and I'll have it linked down below so y'all can check it out for yourselves as well. Okay, so what's really fun about this beer rinse is that it will actually act like a protein treatment. And even more fun, it is actually vegetarian. So yay! If you've been struggling with the gelatin treatment idea because it's not vegetarian, beer rinses would be a fantastic alternative for you. And because of the carbohydrates in beer, mostly from the sugars used during fermentation, that actually acts like good humectants for your hair. Not all humectants are created equal. Not all humectants will dry out your hair when the air is dry. Most humectants are longer chain humectants and therefore just hold water to themselves and will grab a water molecule from the air and hold it they don't have the strength to pull the water out of your hair. So in this instance, the carbs that are acting like humectants that are in beer are a good thing. So there are also some proteins in beer. Think hops, think Diva Curl using hops in their products a lot. Hops has great extract properties and can lend some structure and strength to the hair and give the hair a little bit of resilience. So hops are fantastic, but the other proteins too that are in the beer have actually been hydrolyzed due to the fermentation process. So they're actually useful to the hair. A lot of times people will put egg and yogurt on their hair and it doesn't do much for them because well, those proteins are too big. They are whole, complete intact proteins and they will sit on top of the hair and lend temporary structure to the hair. But as soon as you wash your hair again, it will rinse all of that out. When the proteins have been hydrolyzed, it means they have been chopped into smaller pieces and then they're small enough to be able to penetrate into the hair shaft and help reconstruct the hair from the inside out and give it long term strength and resilience and actually have some more long-term effects, which is fantastic. Beer is slightly acidic and as we know, our hair has a slightly acidic pH. Neutral pH is seven and hair has a pH of around 4.5 to five and beer lends itself perfectly to that because it has a slightly acidic pH. The majority of the proteins in beer are actually a higher molecular weight and they will give a film forming humectant type effect to the hair. So they'll actually kind of coat the hair just a little bit and help it feel slightly thicker and more substantial while also feeling lightweight and bouncy and guys, shiny. Like, let's just take a quick look. There is no product in my hair. My hair's a little bit frizzy because there is no product in it. Uh, there's nothing holding those curl clumps together really well other than delicious beer. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert a clip right here of how I personally use the beer. 
I was thinking to myself in my brains that ethanol is the alcohol that is in beer and ethanol is theoretically a short chain alcohol which could be drying to my hair. In the Science of Hair blog, she says that you are welcome to go ahead and use the bear straight on your hair. You can let it sit out and go flat. I choose to let it sit out and go completely bone flat so that all the proteins that are in the foam will reincorporate themselves into the beer, into the liquid, and also I think that most of the ethanol will have evaporated out so it won't have an intense effect on my hair. So I actually let this sit out for several hours and then realized I didn't have time to wash my hair at night and do it. So I wound up putting it in an airtight container in my fridge overnight and then I pulled it back out this morning and let me go ahead and show you exactly what I did this morning. All right guys, here we go. Let's go ahead and jump right into this process of using the beer rinse. Actually, first I will go ahead and cleanse my hair with the Bounce Curl Clarifying Shampoo. I really like this shampoo when I do a beer rinse. It's very moisturizing, but it also is very cleansing. I find that doing this plus the beer rinse leaves my hair really nicely clarified. I enjoy doing that. This is one of those low poo. I know it says clarifying, but it's kind of a low poo because there's no sulfates in it. It does better when you go ahead and warm it up in your hands and kind of get that lather going before you apply it to your hair. So now that my scalp is thoroughly cleansed, I'm going to rinse it as well as I possibly can and wring as much water out of it as I can so that it gets the full concentration of the beer. Yay for cold, flat beer on the hair. I'm just dipping both sides of my head in, the lengths of my hair, and now I'm going to kind of do a squish to condition with this beer. Just pulsing and making sure that all of that beer is like swishing around in my hair. Now I've taken the white bowl and placed it underneath me and I've poured the beer on the links of my the parts of my hair that I couldn't quite reach by dunking. And here I'm shocked because I can actually kind of finger detangle my hair while the beer's in it. It's wild. It's so conditioning. So now I'm just going ahead and re-pouring that over my head because I caught it in the white bowl. Now the orange bowl's underneath and doing some more squishing and pulsing. When you do an apple cider vinegar rinse, which is kind of what this reminds me of, you know, they're both rinses, you can't finger detangle at all. But with the beer in your hair, it makes your hair instantly feel so much softer. So now I've just got my hair thoroughly soaked and saturated. I'm going to put on my shower cap and let that sit for about 10 minutes. I grab some older towels because whew, it smells so strong. I didn't want to use like my nice bath towel. So I grabbed some older bath towels to like wrap my head up in and, and kind of protect my shirt from getting dripped on by beer because yes, it smells like brewery. All right. So now that I have just rinsed that out, I am grabbing a teeny tiny wincy bit of the Curls Blueberry Bliss. And yes, I'm a little bit sad because I have, I, that, I'm, I'm sad. I'm almost out. I know I'm not like almost out, but I'm getting close to being out. Now I'm just running that through my hair and grabbing my trusty Perfect Hair Care brush and just finishing working that leave-in through the lengths of my hair and going ahead and thoroughly detangling my hair because, yeah. Now I'm just kind of situating those curl clumps. I've started kind of pulling the curl clumps off the side of my head and I like that. Also lifting the hair off the back of my head so that nothing is stuck and adding just a touch of water to the back of my head and doing a squish to condition with the leave-in. This kind of helps me organize and situate all of my curl clumps 
it keeps everything kind of going the direction that I want. I'm pretending like I'm applying a gel when I'm not. This is a good tip if you want to go a product free, but still have similar curl enhancement and all those good things. Couple more good scrunches and we're good. So I've already kind of showed you the results of this beer rinse on my hair and I will go ahead and tell you that when you put it on your hair, yes, it smells very strong. And if you are really turned off by the smell of beer, doing a beer rinse, you smell it. You just do. But as soon as I rinsed it out and diffused my hair, I don't smell any beer in my hair at all. All I'm smelling is that Blueberry Bliss leave-in that I left on my hair earlier. I did go ahead and plop my hair for about 20 minutes just to let my perfect hair care towels soak up some of the excess water and then I diffused my hair for a fairly short time this morning because there's no product in it. It didn't take as long to dry, about 15 minutes and then I ran a couple errands and sat down to finish talking to you guys. Also, when I first saw this, I thought it was so cool that I ran out and did one, got bought my beer, did my beer rinse, and was so proud of myself for doing something so cool to my hair. And I was talking to my mom about it, and she kind of laughed at me and went, "Hun, that's not a new thing. That has actually been around for many, many, many years. In fact, your grandmother, my mom's mom, used to do them all the time to her hair. Turns out that people are pretty smart. And this has been around for a while, but I definitely think it's worth continuing to use. I'm just amazed that there's like no conditioner in my hair and my hair feels as soft and happy as it does. I absolutely love beer rinses. They act like a mild kind of protein treatment to me. If you are looking for my favorite, most incredible of all time protein treatment, you should totally check out the Curl Junkie Repair Me. I have tried a lot of products when looking for my favorite protein products because my fine, barely weighty hair really loves protein. And yeah, the Curl Junkie Repair Me is the way to go. It just works so, so well. Um, but beer rinses make my hair incredibly soft, incredibly silky, and so lightweight. And I do feel like it has a very moisturizing and protein type effect on my hair. So it is definitely worth it. I spent a buck 75 to buy one beer at my local grocery store and I am very pleased with these results. It is a quick, easy, accessible protein treatment. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. It helps me out and it lets me know that this video was helpful. If you have any more questions about beer rinses, leave your comments down below and I will do my very best to give you the answers or point you in the direction of more good info. Also, if you would, go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell. I do have a bunch more videos planned and coming out soon. And if you subscribe and click that bell, then you get to hang out some more. really do love hanging out with you guys. It has been an absolute fantastic time. So thank you all again for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate each and every single one of y'all. I hope you are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to y'all later.